Now we get into the, the, the local things that are happening. Uh, Devil's Kitchen collapsed in the 1880s. Additional rock falls in 1989 and 1995. We look at uh, what's going on in this limited part of the Verde watershed. Here's the, you can see the outline of uh, the Sedona city limits. Here would be, be Oak Creek coming through here to Page Springs. We have uh, faults that are shown in blue. Bear Wallow Fault will come right on through West Sedona. Uh, Oak Creek Fault coming down this way. Uh, the Sedona Fault and a series of faults that are kind of trending parallel to the edge of the uh, down drop, Birdie Graben. Uh, but the red triangles are the sinkholes. We have three of them up in the northwest of town. That's a big one. This is a tiny one. Uh, Nolan Tank is one I've just finished mapping. And that has, that has an opening that would be bigger than this room, probably the size of this entire building, maybe a little bigger. But the fascinating thing about this one is that the undercut is 4.6 times larger in area than the surface opening. So they're enlarging downward. Here's Devil's Kitchen up here. Uh, this is uh, one that's very high on the ridge at Mitten Ridge. Devil's Dining Room is the one that had the dike going through it. And then Turkey Creek is down here. This is looking to the southwest uh, into West Sedona. That would be uh, Ming uh, Mingus Mountain would be way in the distance over here. But here's the sinkhole. That's Phyllis standing on the, on the overcut or the undercut south side. When you're on the south side looking at it, this would be a view in 1983. Uh, the sinkhole uh, hadn't yet fallen in on the north end, but notice up here these tree roots that are still exposed. So rocks had, had been falling off of this over a fairly recent time by 1983. And also you can see that there's caliche, calcium carbonate, that rainwater has not yet dissolved away. After the 1989 collapse, you can see uh, this dominant northwest or north-south fracture over here. And this is a northwest trending joint, just smooth as a blackboard, covered with, with caliche, with uh, calcium carbonate. And in a later time, you see that's dissolved away. That chunk fell out in 1995. Ultimately, you can see that we're, we're, we're creating new, new fractures on top of the old regional uh, grain here. Here's, here's the, the, the regional fractures coming through. There's a, a bounding set on each side that are coming through like that. When I mapped this in 1990, to my surprise, I found these curving fractures like this going clear out to the road. Uh, coming in. So ultimately, all of this is going to break out probably like that. And that's what those arcuate fractures look like. They're curved and they're, and they're, and they're dipping outward away from the, the sinkhole. So when you're on the southwestern corner, you're on ground that's already fractured, already broken. Well, yeah. I need to change tape. Okay. Okay, well, here we have uh, a longitudinal section through the de Devil's uh, Kitchen sinkhole. But notice that this surface opening up here, 150 feet, but when you go into the undercut, it's 225 feet. And so there's a big, there's, a, there's something going on down there because there, sandstone will not make a cavity. There's not enough calcium carbonate in the sandstone. There may be a little bit, but not much. So there's, there's something going on at depth, and that material at depth would be a large solution cave built underneath the water table. So here you have, you have a water-filled cave enlarging to the point where it, it gets so big that it can no longer support the roof, and the roof collapses. So what you have is the rock fall down into it. Uh, it's 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 full of, of spaces so water can go through this like a sieve. 
So you have a cave system developing underneath the uh, town of Sedona that, in my view, is rivaling something the size of Mammoth, uh, Kentucky uh, caverns. And uh, it becomes a very important thing from a, a wastewater standpoint because where, where you see these things forming up in outcrop, you can see their evidence directly. But picture this happening in the bottom of a canyon. Every time you have a flash flood, you're going to fill in that hole with gravel. And if you have one of these sinks that is uh, covered with an 